Industrial Talk is brought to you by Armis. Yes, you are in the digital transformation game. Yes, you need to find trusted companies, trusted individuals to help you along with that journey. The Armis platform delivers complete asset intelligence. You know what that means? Insights into your connected assets. You're in the digital transformation game. You have to have that insights into what is connected. Go to Armis.com. Find out more. You will not be disappointed. Also, AI Dash. AI Dash is on a mission to create a greener, cleaner, safer planet from space. AI Dash helps core industries become more resilient, efficient, and sustainable through the power of satellites and AI. Go out to AIDash.com. Find out more. On this episode of Industrial Talk, we are broadcasting live, on-site, Distribute Tech 22. And if you need to go to an event and you're in the energy and utility space, that is a conference for you. Incredible professionals, great companies providing incredible solutions, solving problems. We were also very fortunate to run into Raul Saxena, CTO, co-founder at AI Dash. And I'm telling you right now, they've got incredible technology helping utilities deal with their maintenance challenges around the world. It doesn't matter because they do it from the sky. Enjoy the conversation with Rahul. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, glad to be here, uh, Scott. Pretty cool that uh, we're back in sort of person. It's sort of neat. I like it. Yep. You guys got a great booth over there. A lot of buzz over there, too. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's a, that's always a good thing, right? Yep. yep. All right, for the listeners out there, let's talk a little bit about Rahul and, and uh, give us a little background. Then we're going to start talking a little bit about AI Dash for the individuals that don't know anything about it. And then we're going to start talking about some interesting news that exists with AI Dash. So give us a background, Rahul. Sure. Uh, so hi, everyone. This is Rahul uh, Saxena. I am co-founder and CTO at AI Dash. At AI Dash, we use the technology around satellites and AI to solve problems around operations, maintenance, and sustainability for companies which have distributed assets, namely power utilities, which this conference is all about. Uh, so we have different products uh, around the asset management, like vegetation management, we have a product called IBMS, uh, there is something around encroachment into gas and electric utilities, uh, and then we have a couple of products around sustainability side. See, what's interesting yeah. about it, I, I, I enjoy the fact that, that leveraging satellite in conjunction with an AI platform, allows utilities, and specifically here just because we're at Distributech, utilities uh, better insight, better capabilities for uh, managing assets from a vegetation perspective. Is that a, a sort of an accurate statement? Am I leaving anything out there? The, the, that's absolutely correct. So, so vegetation management specifically is a big issue with utilities. There is a huge. Yep, yep. So, so we have a product which is live and uh, currently being used by 50 customers all over the world, primarily in US. For for the listeners out there, when we start talking about vegetation management from a utility perspective, what is the typical spend for utilities? So, uh, typical spend for utilities depending on you know uh, how big their uh, distribution network and transmission line network can be, anywhere not from a couple of millions to you know uh, hundred million more worth of uh, annual spend. You see, and, and and that's typically, typically from my my history, uh, real reactive to a certain extent. You you try to plan, but the reality is is that other things sort of take precedent. You just don't. It's a sort of a unique, unique situation. And, and here's a solution that says, now you go over here. That's here's the reason why. And then don't worry about over here. And you're able to really direct. Uh, resources, valuable resources, in a way that makes sense. So that's 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 pretty good. All right. There's other things. It's not just vegetation management we're talking about. AI Dash with the solutions of of, of satellites and the, the AI component. What else can we do with that? Sorry. Uh, what else? Like what what other value can we gain from that? Like there's a. You guys have a, uh, a press release, you're expanding yep. your capabilities. Sure. 
Yeah, let me get get straight to it. So, yeah. so yeah. Apart from these products, so we today earlier today announced the, our next product. So it's again on the asset management side. Yep. So apart from vegetation management, now we are getting into things around disaster and disruption management. Yeah. So there are a lot of disasters happening. There were like around 15 disasters just last year, causing a havoc, which took almost like a one billion dollar kind of a spend. Mm-hmm. Right. So that that kind of a damage. So. So, so uh, you know, uh, so while, while we are working with satellite and, AI and you know, other products, we felt this technology can really be used to solve these use cases, which are you know really becoming very important for utilities. But so, give a, give an example of let's say uh, uh, me from Louisiana. We had our hurricane, and of course, everybody's when power's out, people are not happy. So, how does the solution? Uh, that AI Dash provides help with that disaster and the recovery of that? Sure. So for any storm, uh, there are three stages, uh, before, during, and after of the storm. Uh, So what we do is, uh, before the storm, typically utilities would get into grid hardening and grid resiliency kind of activities. You want to make sure the storms, the poles are all okay. You replace the poles which are not good. You maybe set up some floodgates. You raise the height of the substations. You do all that stuff. So that's, that's what you do before. So using this product, so we have a grid hardening module where you can plan all these activities. You can do prioritization, you can do management, you can have an app which can use, you see, send field workers in the field and track it all, all in one place. So that's the prevention, so predict and prevent kind of a stage where you use uh, you know, satellite and other imagery to predict and then pre- use this module to prevent it. Uh, then as you get closer to the storm, so typically our model starts predicting uh, the storm and the impact 72 hours before the storm. So usually uh, that has been a challenge so far. Oh. Uh, so so the, the sooner you know, the better you can plan. Uh, you can deploy the resources correctly. You can actually you know get the right resources much in advance. So we have a resource prediction module as well. Oh, that's right. cool. So, Yep. So it, it gives a extent of damage which is predicted based on the out, uh, outage. So it takes into account different things. It takes into account what was the you know damage based on the previous out, uh, similar storms. Uh, it takes care of the weather data to figure out the you know what could be the uh, damage caused by the new storm. So you take all that into account and come with a damage prediction as well as a resource requirement model. So you can do all that through our tool. I. I- that just makes so much sense. If, if utilities, and, and this was always a conversation I'd have with people, is like, okay, here comes a storm. Did the utility do their part to strengthen that grid? You, you don't know. You know, I, I don't yep. know. I don't know if those conversations are happening, or in many cases, in the case of uh, Louisiana, w- we find that here's a storm, here's another storm, and it's hard to even get ahead of that grid you know, strengthening component because we're just trying to get the power back up. Yep. But I'm always fascinated by during, like uh, our last storm, how do they determine where to deploy the resources? Where, you know, everybody starts coming in from different states saying, hey, you need help, here we go, we got some linemen, blah, blah, blah. To do that effectively, that just means for me as a consumer, my power gets up sooner. Exactly. So, uh, so the idea here is we take into account the weather data and we try to work with different vendors which can get us satellite data near real time. Real time is not possible, but you can get near real time and you know, as we learn more and more about utilities, as we work with different customers, do different pilots and take them to production, we learn more and more. The model gets, keeps getting more accurate. So you can do a better predictions as you go along. And after the storm has passed, again, you can do scans from satellites, you can use our app and the web component to track this real time, the restoration activities, and try to make it more efficient. See, and, and, and of course, we're, after the storm, you know, you're okay. So you got the, the satellite, you're looking at it, you're saying, hey, oh, this is this is impacted, this is impacted. You can sort of hold off here. You can make those, those predictions, those tactical decisions, which is very good. But then it just sort of loops right back to grid stabilization because you just had, a, now it's after, stabilize it and then you keep on learning as you keep on going and so ideally correct me if i'm wrong Raul, is that the impact over a period of time will be less you're not saying it's going to go away there will be power outages there will be vegetation and for whatever flying into poles whatever it might be but you can have a greater confidence that maybe the impact will be minimized 
So that, that's exactly right. So apart from these three modules, great hardening, uh, preparedness, uh, and then uh, the, the resolution of you know, uh, the, the repair work, we also have a module called Retrospect, wherein you can, oh, where you can you analyze you know, what you predicted and what you actually saw. So over a period of time, as more and more storms, storms happen, you learn more, and you can also generate your regulatory reports from there. And you know what's great about this is the fact that me, consumer, I could be a manufacturer, I could be whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm a consumer of power. I want uh, reliable power. I want to know that uh, the utilities are using all the tools available to be able to ensure that the power is delivered. And I, I, I see the, the use of uh, satellite, AI dash, all of that in conjunction is only a, a and, and the ability to just have that bird's eye view, that ability to say yes, and then taking limited resources, money, yeah. and deploying it properly. That's a heck of a solution. I mean, I'm all giddy about it. Sure, yeah. So, so we're excited as well to you know solve this big big issue. Yeah. Where do you, where do you see it going? Because because I see there's a velocity with technology. I see that innovation is like really fast. I see use cases being developed as a result of going, yeah, I thought that, I got this, and we just put them together, and now we have, where do you s sort of see where AI Dash is going and, what, and what's happening there? So I think uh, from, uh, as we have our earlier product around vegetation management, encroachment management, and now this la new launch with DDMS, so we're trying to, you know, manage everything around the assets at scale. Yeah. Right, so the idea is to get into all these different issues, whether it's vegetation, encroachment, disaster, so, so have one solution which, you know, has different products, where you can link everything together. So for example, we do vegetation management. So if a customer takes our vegetation management product as well as DDMS product, so we already have their vegetation data. So sometimes they might want to combine their plan. So us, so they, let's say they have a vegetation plan which is a plan which is planned out, and a storm comes and it, it you know the plan goes awry, right? So so you can have the DDMS pick data from vegetation and you know make sure both the plans are in sync. I'm telling you, man, you guys are at the cutting edge. I love what you guys are doing. It, it's it's impressive. I, I I I can't say that enough because being an old guy like me, we used to just be real reactive with our asset management, and I mean real reactive. It rained, and so he's just like, oh, got to go out there and trim trees. Or hey, the storm came through. Seems like a branch fell in. Whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. How does somebody get a hold of you and, and just loves exactly what you guys are talking about? How they do it? So LinkedIn is the best place to reach out to me. I'm right. on LinkedIn. Very good. All right, listeners. Rahul's the man. AI Dash is the company. I will have all the contact information for AI Dash Rahul out on industrialtalk.com. You need to reach out to this company. It's fantastic. They're doing great things, and it never stops. You guys never stop. Because you guys just sort of eat, drink this stuff, huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> sort of sad and good thank you for doing it but anyway all right listeners we're going to be right back so stay tuned we will be back with another great conversation shortly so stay tuned you're listening to the industrial talk podcast network all right once again thank you very much for joining industrial talk and a hearty thank you to rahul saxena cto and co-founder of ai dash delivering the technology delivering the innovation to help utilities definitely deal with their vegetation management it's a brave new world out there and it's being led by companies like ai dash excellent conversation exciting most definitely also you need to find trusted trusted sherpas to help you through this whole technology AI Dash is definitely one of those companies. All right, you need to go to uh, Distributech 22, must attend. It has great companies, great people, solving problems, and if you're in the utility and energy market, it is a must attend. You will not be disappointed. I wasn't disappointed, but you could tell there was a lot of buzz going on there on the floor because it's a pretty noisy and raucous crowd. But put that on your calendar. All right, people, be brave, dare greatly. Hang out with people like Rahul and you're going to change the world. Thank you very much. We're going to have another great conversation shortly, so do not go away.